What's up, people? Welcome to The Shift on YouTube with Francisco Rojas. We got to address what happened yesterday between the Yankees and the White Sox. And if you don't know what I'm talking about by now, I'll fill you in. I'm sure if you're watching this channel, you're a baseball fan, you already know what happened. Josh Donaldson is an airhead. No matter what you think about uh, what you think about it being a racial slur or not, Josh Donaldson is an airhead for what he did yesterday in the game against the Chicago White Sox. So let's just let let to just to fill you in. Let's let's talk about what happened. Let's go through it. Uh, so May thirteenth, about a week and a half ago, Yankees are playing the White Sox uh, in Chicago. Tim Anderson rounds third base, or he slides into third base, and. Donaldson kind of like pushes Anderson off uh, a little bit, and Anderson doesn't like it. Donaldson's an edgy player. That's just kind of how he is. We know how Josh Donaldson is. The bringer of rain, right? The bringer of rain. But pushes Anderson off third base. Anderson doesn't like it. They exchange words. Bench is clear. Uh, nothing after that really happens from what I remember. If not, you can fill me in. Um, but fast forward to yesterday, May 21st, Saturday, May 21st. Chicago White Sox are playing in New York, in the Bronx, and in one of the early innings, Anderson, uh, and Do I think Donaldson uh, is out at second base or something. I don't know if Anderson tags him out. I forget what happens exactly. But they walk off the field, and, you know, Josh Donaldson is walking by Tim Anderson, and they walks right by him, and he calls him Jackie. Says something, 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 Jackie. I forget exactly what he said. Uh, I'm going to read some of the quotes here in a second. Uh, but, you know, he calls him Jackie. And I, th I don't know if the bench is cleared at that point. But we're, the bench is due clear in a couple of innings after that. So, I guess Donaldson, next time Donaldson's up to bat, uh, he's walking to the plate and Yasmani Grandal says, uh, he, did, he didn't say what he said, but I, I think something along the lines of, you know, something about the Tim Anderson incident. And because I think in postgame reports, Grandall said he wouldn't tell the reporters uh, what he said. But Grandall, you know, says something about the Anderson incident, probably just, you know, just backing him up, saying like, yo, you're going to say that to my guy. Like, I'm going to, if you got something to say, something to say to me, what, probably something along those lines. And, you know, bench is empty, bullpen's empty, all that happens. And, uh, you know, I like that. I love, and I, honestly, I love the, uh, look, I like the drama. Not, not to this point, not, not, not if it has something to do with, uh, you know, something where Donald says something stupid. I don't like that. I don't like anything racial, sl any, any racial slurs, anything like this. I don't like, but I do like the drama in baseball. I like it. I liked Donaldson and Garrett Cole last year. That was fun. I don't like this type of thing. Uh, but I liked that Riazmani Grandal has Tim Anderson's back the way he did. That I you if you're a player, you want to play with somebody like Yasmani Grandal. I like that. I like I've always liked Grandal, his demeanor, the way he's played the game, uh, you know, being one of the better catchers in the game. Grandal is somebody, and I, I, I really, really, really like that. How he, you know, how he uh def defended Tim like that. And uh, you know, love that. Love that, love that. Uh, but bench is clear and you know, for the rest of the game, nothing happens. So post game is where it really happens, though. Post game is where you know players are saying stuff. So basically, uh, you know, they asked Anderson uh, what he thought of it, and uh, Anderson said, you know, I didn't like him calling me Jackie. Like that's not the way I play. Like you're gonna, you're not gonna play with me like that. And you know, uh, you gotta you gotta respect Anderson for what he says. He's an African American man. If someone calls him Jackie, like. You're not going to, you know, you got to, you got to understand where he's coming from. There's nothing you really can say about Tim Anderson and about what he said. Like, there's nothing you can really say uh, to, to attack him for that because it's understandable. It's a hundred percent understandable. Um, but then Donaldson says, basically, he said it was, he thought it was a joke between him. I'm, I'm reading the, I'm reading the quote right now. He said, I thought it was a joke between him and I, because we've talked about it before. He's called himself Jackie Robinson. That's why I thought it was funny between us. Look, I'm not even surprised because Donaldson's just a bonehead. Uh, look, that's not surprising at all. Come on, man. Like, what, what are you, like, 13? Come on, bro. Um, and then, uh, apparently, this this goes back to a Sports Illustrated article in 2019 where 
Anderson says that he's a new Jackie. Because, look, and I, I you can take it out of context where I even want to say, I don't think he means that he's the actual new Jackie Robinson, like uh, like Jackie broke barriers and stuff like that. I think just because, you know, he's there's not many African-American players, and, you know, he's one of the young African-American players, and he had the whole... Uh, you know the you know they had the bat flip against the Royals, and I guess he feels like it's him him against the rest of the league, against the rest of the world, stuff like that. And I totally respect that, and I and I like that. I like that type of mentality. I think it's it's good for for Major League Baseball. No, he's not the new Jackie Robinson in terms of him breaking the barrier of, of something to that magnitude or something that big. No, no, but at the same time, it is still it makes sense in in uh, in terms of. Uh, you know, he is one of the new faces uh, of the league and him being one of the, you know, the the younger uh, African-American players and being the, the new school of ha- trying to have fun and the bat flips and all of that, which I encourage. And, you know, I encourage any any uh, any new young baseball player to play like that. I like that. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, but. But basically, and that's what and- Tim Anderson was referring to. And. You know, and apparently it's that Donaldson said this was the first time that this wasn't the first time that he referred to him as Jackie. Donaldson claimed that I'm just I'm quoting uh, from the article that I read uh, from MLB.com. Donaldson claimed that he did so in 2019 when he was a member of the Braves. Well, he was an idiot for saying it then, too. And like, how do we know we can take your word for it that you I mean, I don't know. It's just it's all it's all dumb. It doesn't even matter. Like, it's, it sounds like you're trying to make excuses. It just sounds like you're trying to make, make excuses if, if you're Josh Donaldson there. I, I'm sorry. So. Doesn't matter. I know he apologized, but Donaldson's an idiot for what he said. At the end of the day, Donaldson's an idiot for what he said. Look, I love the drama of baseball. I or, I love the that we that uh, you know we need more drama in baseball. We do need more drama, but this isn't the type of drama. Not players saying something stupid like this. We left this back in the '40s and '50s before Jackie Robinson, uh, you know, broke the color. Well, I guess he what broke it in the late '40s. It doesn't matter. Before he broke the color barrier, we, we we need to leave that behind. For for what Josh Donaldson said, we need to leave that in the past. That is what needs to happen, a hundred percent. Okay, so that's kind of where I, how I uh you know feel about the situation. I would love to hear how you feel about this situation, uh with Donaldson, uh and Tim Anderson. Did you think it was racial? Did you not think it was racial? Uh, do you think Tim Anderson's in the wrong? I don't really think you can think Tim Anderson's in the wrong. Even Tony La Russa said, uh, you know, uh, he didn't like it. He thought it was it was it was a racial undertone. I think I think that's what La Russa said. Uh, I don't hundred percent have uh, what he said in front of me, but I want to hear from you. Do you think that this was uh, uncalled for? Do you think it wasn't? I want to hear from you guys. Uh, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe comment if you want to, if you don't like the video dislike it too i want to hear all the feedback comment if you disliked it and tell me why tell me what i can do better in the videos all of that let me know what uh you know let me know what you thought about the video and yeah i'll see you guys next time